We are back again with another iPhone vlog. I'm sorry, I had to bring it back just cause the last video I was like, man, it's gonna be super trash. But when I edited everything, I was like, okay, the iPhone camera is not that bad. It actually looks pretty good on YouTube. Not when I was editing, but on YouTube, it looks pretty good. So maybe not that good right now cause it is a little bit dark in here. So let me turn on some lights in this dungeon. Come on, turn on this one right here. Boom. Okay, so let me give you guys a little update on what is going on. So, of course, your boy is back in the bay. This is my little facility, aka my uh, shipping facility, my sleeping room, my gaming room, my stock room, whatever you guys want to call it. And I just wanted to ask you guys, is this relatable right here so when i purchased the gtr i was like okay if i'm gonna make a big purchase i need to get rid of a lot of stuff you know just to to balance it out you know what i mean it's like yin and yang one thing is getting acquired one thing got to go so what i decided was was to part with a bunch of my shoes a lot of stuff that i didn't wear so i went ahead i sold like 40 pairs of shoes and i keep all my shoes in here right so Tell me, why are my racks still filled? Like, look at this. Look, I got I got some shorts and stuff in here, but look, shoes, 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 shoes. How is that even possible? How? Somebody tell me how. The only chunk that I see right here, that's like the only thing that's missing. I don't understand what happened. Like. There's some empty spots right here. This could maybe fit three shoes. One, two, three. And then this is probably like four, maybe six-ish total. I don't know. But the thing is, is, these are shoes that I'm selling. This is like my business side of things. So I don't really keep personals over here. So where, what, what happened? And if y'all don't believe me, look, I like to separate my personals from the business and all that stuff so when i separated it it's still all in my hallway like my hallway is looking super crazy right now look all this right here all this somehow some way fit in here and i wasn't even gonna vlog today but i was looking at it and i was like i need to vlog today I look musty. I'm currently doing some package work. So I thought, you know what? I am going to bring you guys along today. So you guys are hanging out with me. Woo, it's a little steamy today. I need that AC. Oh my goodness, Beethoven, what's good? Get some AC blown in here. Boop, boop. I really just wanted to get on this vlog just to, uh, just to communicate with you guys and ask you, like, do you guys actually care if it's an iPhone vlog or do you care if it's like a high quality vlog or are you just watching it because you're bored and you just want to see what's good and tap in with the kid? Not gonna lie, after doing YouTube for a while, you kind of get into this mind state where you think that your content always has to be, you know, super creative, bangers all the time. And essentially, I mean, you could, but what I really enjoy is just making videos. Like I enjoy sitting here talking to you guys. I'm really talking to myself. I seem a little crazy, but that's what YouTube is. It's a person talking to a camera at the end of the day. The question is, is do you really care how amazing or how great certain content is filmed like does it have to be movie quality do you guys prefer a really nice camera do you guys f with this camera right here because this is an iphone bro like i'm pretty sure this camera is looking pretty good and i feel a lot more comfortable right now just for some reason to bust out the camera because i feel like holding a big camera in public is just sometimes it feels a little cringe sometimes it's just like i don't want to be holding that all day so we're rocking with this camera. Y'all let me know. Comment down below to everybody that's watching this. First of all, I appreciate you guys because literally this is one of those vlogs where I'm just like, you know what? We have no premise really. Y'all are just hanging out today and whatever we do, we do. And whatever we don't, we don't. 
Oh yeah. All right, so I got a couple things that I'm doing today. So the first thing that I have to do is drop off the packages. So anybody that shops on the website, shopsotopia.com, thank you because y'all have been keeping me busy and I love it. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you don't know what I'm talking about, but since I got a GTR now, we had to hit them with that yin and yang. You know what I said at the beginning of the video, you acquire one thing, one thing must go. It's just a balance in life. It's a very simple concept to understand. You need balance in life. You don't need a bunch of things going on. So you get rid of one thing, you know, you get rid of one thing, you get one thing. So with that being said, we are planning to sell the Tesla Model 3. I'm not gonna title this video that or anything, but to the real viewers that are watching this, now you know, um, I'm planning on selling the Tesla to one of my homies within the next few weeks. So hopefully the deal goes well. I gotta go to the bank to make sure everything is situated and then uh, we might be getting rid of that thing soon. So I'm just giving you guys a little update. I don't want to leave you guys in the dust or in the dark. Just been running some errands and dropped off all the packages. But I realized that one of the last videos I showed the Atlas in, I said I was going to get a bunch of stuff done. I dropped it off, but I never showed you. So I should be doing an update video on this. I just been kind of, I've been bouncing all over the place, bro. I just, I don't know. Definitely need to get to it though. I freaking love this car. This car is amazing. If you're looking for a car within like the 10,000 ish price range and you want something that's like bulletproof, bro, get you a nice little LS 430 with low mileage. This one has, it's a little dusty, a little dusty, 89,000 miles on it. So I was recently getting some ideas for room stuff and I came across one of Tony's videos, Tony D2 Wild, if you guys watch sneaker YouTube, and he had this like light grid that he actually mounts it to the wall so it saves a bunch of space and he uses it as like lighting for his video and I thought that was a super good idea. So I seen him at Best Buy. I'm gonna try to pick one up today and hopefully we could just install it, close the day out and then that'll be the vlog. Like literally I'm just running this off the rip. This is how my days usually go. I run errands and then I go home, finish some work, eat dinner, do more work and at the end of the day i usually play games or something but how are you guys doing in terms of the whole you know quarantine wearing the mask stuff because i've seen some states primarily on the east coast i believe a lot of those states are starting to lift those uh restrictions or at least open up a little bit more california is for sure going to be one of the last states to be opening it up like completely completely that's just how i feel but like Texas, I heard that people aren't really wearing masks anymore. I just wanted to hear if you guys had anything interesting to add to that point uh, where you live. Like, is it is it still crazy? Do things somewhat seem normal now? Are cases going up? Like, I don't watch the news or anything, so I like to hear from people that it's directly affecting. Yeah, y'all let me know. How is it looking for you guys? Is it looking promising? Is it looking good? Because out here, whew, we're still masking up, so might be a good thing. Only time will tell. All right, you already know what is going on. We just arrived to Best Buy. Boom. All right. Let's see if Best Buy has what we need. Whenever I decide that I want to do something and I have my vision, I have my goals, I know I have to do it. So... If I can't find it here, we're gonna go to another Best Buy, and then another Best Buy, and then another Best Buy until we find it, because that's how I am. So let's see what we got, Best Buy. All right, and we're in. I haven't been to this place in a minute, but I know I've seen it somewhere. Let's see. Nintendo Switches, sold out. They got any PS5? Probably not. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is what I was looking for right here. Damn. Dude, what? What? I'm not gonna lie though, that's pretty sick. Oh shoot. Oh, 
Oh. Interesting. I think you could reconfigure these to however you want it because it's like several little pieces, little triangles. That's pretty sick. Ooh, it has a power switch. Okay, power. What's this plus? Minus. Oh, it dims it. Okay, make it brighter. Oh, wow. That's nice. What's this? Ooh, different modes. This is a cup. I need it. We're getting it. $200 though. Shoot. Watch all the ads on this video. Yo, so after tax, that was a soft 220 for some nano leaves. Wait, did I get the right one? Yeah, this is, this is the right one. This is the right one. It comes with seven light panels. I guess you could connect it to your phone or something. And it seems like this is the real deal, man. So, I don't know. I'm going to test it when we get home. But before we go home, I'm going to head over to either PetSmart or Ross to get some dog treats and a couple toys for my dog. My dog is 100, not even 100, 1,000, 100,000, 100 million percent spoiled. So, uh... Yeah, I'm getting a little sidetracked because I decided to do this vlog thing, but I'm honestly having a lot of fun just bringing you guys along. So yeah, that's how it's going so far. Oh, yup, we're in the right section. So I usually go to Ross or TJ Maxx because the toys are a lot cheaper and butters ruins everything the first day she gets it. So something like this, right? By the end of the day, this thing won't even be recognizable. It'll just look like scraps. Maybe one toy is good for now. Someone is excited to get her new toy. Butter, sit. Butter, sit. Sit, sit. Come on. Huh? Someone's focus. Look at that focus. Look at that focus. Okay, okay. Everybody take a look at that. Boom. By the end of the night, I promise you guys, something's going to be broken off of this. It's going to be either the ear, either the little horn, maybe the feet. Butters finds a way somehow. She always does. She will rip this thing into shreds. Currently trying to get this thing set up downstairs before I put it in my room. So this is what it looks like when it comes in this little package right here. They come separately and I think it comes with seven of these. And I don't know if it's just me, bro, but whenever you get something brand new and you get the instructions, um, what I usually do is uh, I just, toss those to the side because we're going to figure it out ourselves without the instructions until we need it but then it's going to be too late so that's what usually happens it's all good though um don't know what these are but we're going to figure that out too 200 bucks bro i still can't believe it but like i said i was determined today so i was like you know what i am gonna get this so i got it impulse buy but I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% sure there's something very similar to this, probably for a fraction of the cost on Amazon. So if I do find something, I will leave it on the screen right here and then I'll leave a link down below if you guys uh, wanna check that out for the Stelio Delios. But if you're like me, you wanna be on some impulse buy stuff, then you know, you can do your thing. So it looks like they come with the papers in between i'm gonna try to figure out a, a nice configuration because like it had it inside the store you could basically make this into a letter you can make it into a shape so let me figure this out and then i'll tune right back in with you guys hi butters where's your toy at where's your toy huh <laughs> so I was just walking, right? And this guy has the same Crocs that I do. Like, what is the possibility of that happening? Look at that. Excuse me, sir, six feet. Bang! Six feet! Bang! What is going on? Dude, what do you have in your hands here? My camera. Oh, your new camera? Where, who'd you yeah, get that I from? I got it from you. I bought it from you. I didn't, I didn't get it from you. I bought it from you. You, you bought it from me. Okay. I bought it from you. And you bought those too. Yes, sir. Croc charms. Oh. Oh, we, we can plug that. Okay, we'll plug that later. Okay, croc. No, no, we can do that first. Okay, croc charms. Okay. 
Croc Charms. <laughs> HypeBeastRS.com. That's uh, David's site if you guys want to support and him. And if you guys are interested in some custom LV Crocs, HypeBeastRS.com as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Dude, congrats on the kid. Like, I tell you something that's supposed to be a secret, and then you just put it on camera like that. But they're going to support the hell out of you, knowing that you have a little one on the way. Two. Two? That was, that was the next surprise. Two? Two. Twins. <laughs> I have my thumbnail. Thumbnail. Twins! We're expecting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, huge shout out to Alex for these Crocs. LV all over. Dude, Custom these, made, dude. These are so cool. And they, they super look, drippy. They look authentic too. Like What do you mean they look authentic? Like the they are authentic. I thought it came from my bag, sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 100% authentic material. And they're the all-terrain Crocs. Yes. These ones, they're a lot different than the normal ones. They're more rugged. Yeah, so these will last you a lot longer. Super nice. I plan on restocking these eventually, so if you guys are interested, make sure you're following me on Instagram. That's when you'll be able to find out when the next drop is, baby. But until then... Croc Charms. Hi Croc Charms. <laughs> And boob grabs. Yeah! Dude! <laughs> Dude, what Dude, if you drop your... NSFW type stuff. Voyeur. <laughs> teacher, can I have some help? <laughs> can I have some help, teacher? Stop, dude. My record... Stop, you... Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, it looks so funny in the wide angle. Dude. So I just got home and look at what Ben and Jerry's sent out. They sent out all these ice cream flavors, a bunch of different ones, strawberry pop tart, PB over the top, uh, caramel cookie dough, all this goodness. So shout out to my Ben and Jerry's family. They even sent some of these out. Never tried these before. Don't know what these are, but they look delicious. So shout out to the Ben and Jerry's family. If you guys see any of these or if you want ice cream, Make sure you pick the brand that supports the boy. Butters, you ripped the ear off. Nice. Keep it going, you're doing great. Good girl. Attack, attack. Ah! Ah! So to set it up, I'm gonna use this area right above my computer because I plan on using this little area right here to film. Essentially, I want the light to be hitting my face from this way. So I ended up getting this a couple years ago, maybe a year or two ago for a crazy good deal. So we have the Shaq little posters signed. It has certificate of authenticity. I actually got this at TJ Maxx, so it's super crazy. We're gonna end up moving this and installing these lights right here. I'm about to start doing another video for the main channel. So before I start that one, I'm going to end this one right here. So let me show you guys what these lights are looking like. They're coming out pretty sick. It kind of sucks that I need to control it with my phone or maybe I might be able to do it with the touchpad right here. But let me show you guys what we got. As you guys can see, I'm getting really nice lighting and I don't have any other lights besides those little mood lights back there. Um, illuminating everything so it's coming from these lights right in front of me and it's insane all right so this is what we're working with it looks a little weird on camera but these are more like hexagons hexagons i guess they look a little circular on camera but that's what it's looking like oh you see the reflection of me in the computer screen boom boom yes sir so let me see if i can change the modes i'll show you guys uh all right let's see what we got here Oh, vibes. The vibes. That might be a thumbnail. That might have to be a thumbnail. Oh my God. Vibes in my room. <gasps> oh, but for real though, look at that. Ooh. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. 200 bucks though. Still at the end of the day, that is a lot of shmoney. Y'all let me know what you think. You think it's cool? I think it's a good combo with this side of the room because before it was just like one side was kind of lit up, but now we got two sides. So it definitely adds more vibes to this space. So I really like it. The only thing is that 
now that I have it, I kind of want to add more. Like, I feel like I got a lot of dead space. So I would want to build some like going this way, one going this way, one going this way. And in order to do that, uh, your boy needs to spend another two hundred dollars. So watch out the hands on this video because I need to pay for this somehow. Just kidding, guys. But yes, that is going to end today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys watched it till the end, don't forget to subscribe if you guys are brand new. I'm trying to hit 200,000 subs on this channel by the end of this year. That would be amazing. We'll see where everything goes, all right? I'll see y'all very soon for the next video. I'm trying to vlog more for you guys. So if you guys end up, you know, seeing me take a break or something, DM me, be like, hey, Alex, where are you at? You said you were gonna post more vlogs and then I will do so. I wanna do at least one vlog a week, but two would be the magic number. Butters is ready to call it a night. So we will catch you guys in the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace. Blueberry, Burberry, butterna. Tan skin, mixed race, buttercup. Canada weather, got a bundle up. I'm trying to work, she hit my phone, she wanna. Whoa. Too bad was you know they wrong.